Farming is a force that fuels our economy, creating jobs and supporting communities. And for eight decades, FFVA has worked alongside the industry to anticipate and respond to challenges and opportunities. Its work only made possible through the support of FFVA members. FFVA is an important voice for Florida growers because it represents the entire industry. Um, it's one voice on behalf of all of its membership. By growers being engaged, we can stay ahead of the issues and help sustain the future of Florida's fruit and vegetable industry. This past season was marked by the weather, workforce challenges, and a tough political climate. Making landfall as a Category 4 storm, Hurricane Ian barreled through the Florida Peninsula in late September. In response, FFVA joined other agriculture groups calling for and working toward much needed federal disaster relief, an effort that has carried through to policy recommendations for the 2023 Farm Bill. Through the Specialty Crop Farm Bill Alliance, co-chaired by President Mike Joyner, FFVA continued its work to ensure the priorities of the specialty crop industry are included in the next Farm Bill. Earlier this year, the Alliance laid out 109 recommendations covering eight Farm Bill titles, pushing for continued or new investment in important programs, including research, nutrition, fighting pests and diseases, and mechanization and automation. A focus on those recommendations also includes the establishment of a permanent disaster program. With each disaster comes a seemingly new federal program growers must learn to navigate to support recovery efforts. That's why FFVA has worked hard to establish a permanent solution within the Farm Bill. In Tallahassee, FFVA worked hard during legislative sessions to ensure priorities for the industry were heard and to set the groundwork for future bill language, addressing critical industry issues. Most notably, we saw the passage of Senate Bill 1718, which became law July 1st. The law presents new challenges for Florida growers, and FFVA has worked quickly to address questions and present resources to help growers in meeting the requirements of Florida's new E-Verify law. FFVA leads the industry in helping ensure growers have access to an adequate workforce and informing them when new regulations may have an impact. FFVA engaged with federal regulators during rulemaking and continued its work alongside other associations and the Agriculture Workforce Coalition to advocate for policy changes to address concerns with the H-2A program. A number of new regulations were implemented this year, including a new methodology for the adverse effect wage rate, and FFVA responded quickly by leading the industry's legal challenge, serving as a resource to members and ensuring members' concerns were heard before lawmakers. FFVA is the voice, the ears, and the eyes of Florida's growers. They stay on top of rising issues so that we can maintain a focus on our crops. On water issues, FFVA maintains a constant watch to protect growers' access to this critical resource, working closely with state water management districts and policymakers at the state and federal level. Rising to the top of that list, FFVA is working alongside other stakeholders on the BMP manual revisions with the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. This work ensures that the revised BMP manuals align with the water quality goals of the program and that the overall requirements are practical and economically viable for growers. In September, David Hill stepped into the role as chair of FFVA's Board of Directors. One of the first actions made by Chair Hill was the creation of a heat protection working group. Comprised of grower members, the group was tasked with guiding the association's work in this area and developing grower-to-grower -grower recommendations on heat illness prevention. March saw the return of the Spring Regulatory Tour after a three-year hiatus due to COVID-19. The tour exposed state and federal regulatory officials to production practices, 
fostering a better appreciation for the challenges that producers face. The five-day trip crossed four counties in South Florida, highlighting a variety of production methods, pollinators, and more. In April, FFVA held its third influencer tour in partnership with the Agriculture Communicators of Florida and Fresh from Florida, educating consumers about where their food comes from while tackling challenges and issues Florida farmers face every day. The partnership brought together nine social media influencers to experience a behind-the-scenes tour of Florida produce farms in the Tri-County Agricultural Area. Over the last decade, FFVA has identified and developed the next generation of leaders to be advocates for Florida agriculture through the Emerging Leader Development Program. Administered by the Florida Specialty Crop Foundation, Class 12 participated in five sessions throughout the year that connected them with the people, places, and production practices vital to specialty crop agriculture. This year, FFVA welcomed a few new faces to the team, including Morgan Madison, Food Safety and Sustainability Manager, Natalie Tini, Workforce Relations Assistant, and Kelly Brown, Workforce Relations Coordinator. With these additions, FFVA rounds out its team dedicated to being a strong voice for Florida's specialty crop industry. The influences outside of our fence lines are sometimes greater than what's inside. FFVA serves as our watchdog and our conduit to taking care of the things outside of our fence line. We do a better job standing together than alone. Our, our collective voice is much stronger than any one individual. The future of Florida agriculture is full of opportunity, and FFVA will be there every step of the way, ensuring the industry's collective voice remains heard on the issues that matter the most.